My name is Namita Dimri and I am a student of IV Professional School. Today, I am going to showcase Tableau Dashboard with the help of Police and Counter Case Study. We will be learning how to do union in Tableau, the concept of binning in Tableau and the overall Tableau Dashboard based on the analysis. So first of all, let's begin with a brief introduction of the data. The data set contains the list of encounters performed by the U.S. law enforcement in the year 2015 and 16. And the main variables included in the data set are name, gender, ethnicity, year, state, classification of the encounter and the law enforcement agency. Analysis points that I have covered in the Tableau dashboard mainly includes the trends and the patterns of encounter, be it state-wise, age group-wise, classification and race-wise, top five agencies involved in the encounter, whether the police encounters were racist or not, and the top five states on the basis of custodial leads. So, this is all about the analysis points covered in the dashboard. Now, let's have a look at our data set. As you can see here, all the variables, name, age, gender, ethnicity, the month and the day of the encounter, city, state, classification, and the law enforcement agency. So we have the data for 2015 and 2016. So this is our data set. We move forward now with our first step before starting with our visualization work, that is union of the data. As you saw earlier, we have data for two years, 2015 and 2016. And to get the overall picture, we need to merge the data. So we go for union. For all our viewers listening, union is done to combine two or more tables by appending rows from one table to another. The tables that we combine must have same structure and number of fields. And if you guys remember, both the tables in our case had same structure and same number of fields. As you can see, I have already loaded my Excel sheet. And now we will do the union. So on the data source page, we double click new union to set up the union. And now we drag the 2015 table to the dialog box and then we place the 2016 table just below the 2015 table and then we click apply and OK. If we look at our worksheet, we see that the union has taken place and we are good to go. Now we will see the various patterns of the encounter. To begin with, We begin with encounters by location. For that, I simply took state and UID. I have used map here and we can clearly see the encounters location wise. As you can see, most encounters have happened in, uh, in California, followed by Texas and Florida. Moving on to the encounters by classification. Most of the encounters were done by gunshot and here I simply did a pie chart by taking the classification and I have shared the result in terms of the percentage. Next is encounters by race. Looking at the overall picture, clearly white people were the most affected by the encounters followed by the black people and Latinos. Overall, it says that the encounters were not racist, but this picture might change if we go statewide. Now comes encounters by age group. Here, we will use the concept of binning. In binning, we convert the continuous measure into bins. Since age is a continuous measure, we arrange the age into smaller number of age intervals. Let me show you how binning is done. 
So here we right click on age, we go to create and we are interested in bins here. We give the name here and then we come to size of bins. So here, for example, I put 10. You can put based on your need. Then click OK. We can see here a new bin field in the dimension area that is age bin 2. Now we select this age bin 2 along with UID and we do a little bit of changes here. Quick table calculation. We do the graph. And here we are. So this is the concept of binning. And we can clearly see here that the age group 30 to 39 and 20 to 29 suffered the most in the encounters. Moving forward to the male-female ratio. In this case, it came to be 19 is to 1. 95% of males were affected by the encounters, whereas 4.94% of the females were affected by the police encounters. Next comes top five agencies. So these are the top five agencies involved in the encounters. Likewise, the bottom five agencies involved in the encounters. Last comes the top five states on the basis of the custodial deaths. So these are all the graphs that we have done here for the dashboard. Now we can take a look at our dashboard here. I have included here encounters by location, encounters by race, age group, classification and top five agencies involved in the encounter. Filters of state and month. I have also put the filters of state and month. If so, if you want to look at the data state wise and month wise, we can do it simply by choosing it from here. Also, if we look at the rightmost corner of each graph, there are few icons here. So if we select this funnel shaped icon here, we can use it as a filter. I have selected this for all the graphs here. So now if I click at say California, we see that the visualization changes accordingly. And in case of California, clearly we can see that the Latinos were the most affected by the police encounters. With this dynamic feature, we can talk about the overall scenario and can further dig deeper to give meaningful insights. That is all from my side on the Tableau dashboard. Please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get regular updates on the data science industry talks, interviews and webinars. Thank you so much.